In this video, we are going to do a quick tutorial on Bamboo Studio. Bamboo Studio is a slicer or printer utility. The program is what we use to import a 3D file and tell the printer how to print. To start a project, we click on the new project. Above in the center, we can add a new model. You can also add a new model by going into File, Import, as well as click and dragging from the desktop. Above our print bed preview, we have a series of tools, the first being the Move tool. Next we have the Rotation tool, which allows us to rotate the model in any direction and any number of degrees. Next we have the Scale tool that allows us to scale the object either by pulling or inputting values. We also can stretch at any direction. The Lay on Face tool is a tool I use quite a lot. It allows you to select the surface and orient it on the print bed. The next tool is a Plain Cut tool, very useful for splitting larger models into smaller pieces. The Mesh Boolean tool is up next. It is easier to illustrate this with a cube and a sphere. The boolean allows us to make two objects and unify them in a union, or we can use difference, which will use one of the objects as a cut tool. The last, intersection, will leave what is overlapped by the two objects. Next up is support painting. This allows us to paint in areas where we want supports, useful for when auto-generated supports aren't exactly how we want them. Seam painting is a similar tool that allows us to manually set the location of seams. The text tool allows us to add text to our models, also to personalize and add watermarks. Finally, we have the color painting tool. This fun tool allows us to color our models with the colors we have synchronized with our printer. You can use the paint bucket to fill, and there are also other tools that allow you to paint in where you like. Once our model is positioned correctly, we go to the left side panel. Start from the top, you can choose the printer and build plate. Below, we can see the filament type and color that has been synchronized with our printer. There are also preset settings that you can choose from as well as creating your own. When you're satisfied with your settings, you can hit slice plate. This will generate your G-code. It will give you an estimate of filament weight, lengths, and print times. On the right hand side, you will have a slider giving you a preview of the layers. If the preview looks good, we can hit the print plate on the top right, make sure we have the correct printer selected and the colors look right, and hit send. In the device tab, we can monitor our print with a built-in camera, as well as view the progress of the print. We have some basic controls to pause, stop, and adjust temperature settings. The very first time you open the app, it will ask you to create an account. With an account, you will be able to synchronize your printers with a desktop and mobile app, as well as monitor and print directly from the cloud. Another great feature with Bamboo Studio is the seamless integration to Maker World. Bamboo's online repository for free models. It's very easy to find a model and with one click import into Bamboo Studio or print directly from the mobile app. This wraps up our intro to Bamboo Studio. I want to thank you for choosing Bamboo.